from the Sheriff's Department here to the Bloomington Police Department, Bloomington is not the only city seeing these kinds of clusters of overdoses. In the peace of Bloomington Seminary Square Park, peace shattered. Rescue crews dispatched on a drug overdose. And they had two ambulances down here. Here in the 600 block of South Walnut and a couple blocks up the road, two overdose cases, people overdosing on heroin and synthetic marijuana, spice. They were just lined up here. Ambulances, police. The ambulances, yeah. In Bloomington, within 24 hours, 10 drug overdoses. And we see it around town. Just the other day at the library, we saw somebody that was unfortunately overdosed, and she was with us. And that's not the kind of thing you want your kids to see. So, yeah, terrible. It seems to be a lot worse these days. And we're hearing, like you said, more of these clusters that are happening. And that's frightening. And largely as a result of uh, shared interest, shared drugs, shared community, drug communities. Uh, and the next thing you know, um, everybody's overdosed. The drug treatment expert wouldn't be surprised to learn one or two dealers are behind the overdoses. Sadly, I'm not surprised. Uh, I have been hearing about problems in this area and elsewhere. Uh, a lot of very troubled people in our community, um, a lot of ho homelessness. And when the problem shows up in a park. I don't bring him here. I mean, it's rare that I bring him here. We're passing through the way to the bus. It's scary. I mean, and I feel bad for the people. It's scary to think about what's out there, even people that may not know what they're taking. You know, they know they're getting into something, but you never know what, and it seems to be a lot worse these days. And here at the Monroe County Jail, they are holding one person who was charged with selling spice. They have not yet connected him to this cluster of incidents. Back to you. David, thank you.